Hi guys, welcome back to my channel 32 Happy Teeth. Hope you all are doing well. I believe that you are here because you are preparing for NEET MDS and if you are in search of an effective and result oriented strategy, make sure to watch my video. I'll provide the link in the description box. In this particular video, I'll provide you all the details regarding with the books that can guide you to success. You don't need to buy several books, they're not going to offer you anything extra. What you need is a dental pulse and a needed one. one. Yes, just just these two books to crack your NEET MDS test. So Dental Pulse is a complete guide to NEET MDS entrance test. You should complete it at least four to five times if you want to be in the top 10 ranks. So what it does it if once you increase the number of revisions of dental pulse you will be decreasing your rank and what Neeraj Vadwan is Neeraj Vadwan contains all previous year papers and that will give you an idea of the type of questions asked in the test now how to study dental pulse so when you start studying dental pulse start with synopsis Try to understand the concept rather than mugging it up. While you are going through the synopsis, mark the ones that are difficult for you. Mark them either star, tick or dot, whatever is good for you. Now apply the same method in the answer section. The answer section which is after every MCQ chapter. Okay, so this way you will complete your first reading. So your first reading is complete and when you start your second reading, only study the marked ones. Don't go for the unmarked ones because that are the points which you already know and which you have a grip on. So don't waste your time there. What we are doing here is we are reducing the content with every consecutive study. As you increase your number of reading, you have to decrease your content. This way you will also conserve the time and you will increase more and more revisions of the difficult ones. So what we are doing here is now we are starting our second reading. So when you are doing your second reading, only study the marked ones. That is the ones that were difficult for you. In this manner, you will reduce the content and focus only on weak aspects. You will be saving a lot of time. In the second reading, there will be many marked points that you would have learned properly, but some might be still difficult to learn. Now mark these again. In how will you mark if you have marked a star before mark it uh, with a dot or a tick whatever works for you now while you go for third reading revise only the double marked points this is a tried and tested method trust me guys you have to implement these points in your studying method in your study methodology to gain more and more knowledge in small amount of time now moving on how to study Neeraj Vadwan. Now Neeraj Vadwan first what you do is first solve the paper. Suppose you are starting with 2009 paper. So first solve the paper. There will be some question that you would have marked wrong and some unanswered. So what you need to do is your first priority should be your wrongly marked questions. Refer standard textbooks for those questions. Try to understand why did you attempt it wrong. Okay. Now once you clear your concepts, mark them again because that is where you lack. Okay. That is where you lack the concept and you have to uh, have a grip on that point. Now approach the unanswered MCQs in a similar manner. Once you are done with the wrongly marked question, move on to the unanswered MCQs. Now during subsequent revisions go through the marked ones only. So suppose you are done with 2009 now move on to 2010 and likewise. So whenever you go for next revision of Neeraj Vadwan or next revision of the 2009 paper or any other paper you will study only the marked ones that is you will be dealing with the wrong and the unanswered. So you won't be wasting your time on the questions which you already know the answers. Okay now when you command these books then only go for other MCQ books. See, Dental Pulse and Neeraj Vadwan are like the foundation of a building. So once your foundation is complete, then only you can build other uh, other floors like first or second or third floor, whatever. So your foundation has to be very, very strong to build subsequent floors. So when you have a command on these books, these both books, you go for other MCQ books such as you can go for dentist there is aims 25 there is across for anatomy there are various 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 books but the condition is that first you have to be through with dental pulse and neeraj vadwan so this is how you have to study if you want to be in the top 10 rank or top 5 rank or top 15 okay if you want to be one of the top rank holders you have to implement this tried and tested method in your study methodology 
so this takes us to the end of this video i hope that this video made you overcome your dilemma if you want more videos like this let me know in the comment section follow me on instagram facebook and join my telegram group participate in my weekend quiz till then take care bye bye